I'm the founder and CEO of LeaderSurf, Leadership Development Done Differently. I've spent 22 years of my career teaching people to be more effective leaders in corporations, and I run a consulting business called Groove Management that focuses on leadership development. What I've found is that leadership clearly does differentiate the great companies from the rest. But there's a problem with this. U.S. companies alone spend over $170 billion a year on leadership programs. And the question is, are they effective and what's the return on investment? Problem statement as I see is the majority of leadership development programs do not deliver on the promise of sustainable behavior change. And as Harvard Business Review states, it's really because there's a flawed format, putting people under fluorescent lights in the classroom. My kid can't sit in a classroom. You sitting in a classroom, you're thinking, did I pay my mortgage? Did I pick up my dry cleaning? It doesn't work. Enter a new approach. We call it leader surf, and it's a combination of taking people and teaching them how to ocean surf and how to be a better leader all at once. It's a field trip for experienced leaders. And so what we do is we differentiate by taking people out of their comfort zone, taking them on an adventure to Nicaragua and Central America, stretching the mind, body, and soul. We do daily surfing lessons. People are in a cohort with other experienced leaders from other companies. We don't allow a company to send two people that know each other to a program. The program is six to 10 people per program, and we do four of them a year. The program component, it's a six day, five night stay, Buena Onda Beach Resort, a beautiful resort, but in the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, Nicaragua. Five components, leadership development modules, daily learning, but as you see, I'm in flip flops here, people are dressed casually where they're at ease, and we do real leadership development learning, but not in a classroom under fluorescent lights. One on one executive coaching, pre, post, and during the program, each person comes with a business challenge and they share it with the other people, and we actually team solve business problems. Surfing lessons every day, and an important component is humanitarian aid projects. So let me highlight two of the examples. I believe the best leaders are self-aware. That's what differentiates a great leader from everyone else. They know their strengths, they know their weaknesses, and they play to their strengths. We use two psychometric instruments as pre-work. One is the leading dimensions profile, and another one is the resilience factor inventory. These give you insights into your being and what makes you great and what you need to avoid in terms of your weaknesses. The other piece is, as I mentioned, second poorest in the West, country in the Western Hemisphere. Big problem with ability to get access to clean drinking water. This filter system, $50 each, we install these in villages. We spend a day doing that. This provides 100 gallons of clean drinking water a day. It's this notion of leadership should be a selfless act. It's about serving others, not serving yourself. And we teach that by going and doing that work. So what does surfing have to do with leadership? Well, there's a lot to this analogy. Recently, an article that was published about the program highlighted these three things. The first is that as a leader and as a surfer, you have to observe the landscape. What's right in front of me, but what's on the horizon as well. And so in surfing, you really have to see the waves that are coming. Tether carefully who or what you attach yourself to in business and in surfing. It's important that you're aware of that. The last is our mantra is paddle, paddle, paddle. All those sexy pictures of people riding waves, that's 10% at best of surfing, 90% of surfing is paddling. It's hard work, and so teaching the notion of hard work. When was the last time you learned a new physical skill, right? And this idea of being pushed out of your comfort zone. So our target audience, when we launched the program, and it's been around for a year and a half, done a pilot and two full programs, we thought we wanted active lifestyle leaders from companies, and what we found was that they had to sell their boss, and then their boss had to sell HR. We've gone to, we've got to go to the budgetary decision maker. So it's a chief learning officer in an enterprise company or the CEO in a smaller company. Six day all includes of $6,800 is the price point for the program. That includes everything other than airfare. And that's very competitive to Center for Creative Leadership and other programs that are out there. Having bought these programs for companies, that price point was very well researched. Here's a list of the companies that have been through the program. We have a 50% repeat rate at this point. So companies have incorporated this into their development programming, and it's been tremendous. My goal is to continue to expand the number of well-branded and household name brands sending people to the program. The challenge is this. It is not a boondoggle, but when you tell people that my company is paying for me to go surfing for a week, you start questioning, well, does it really work? And what we found is that it really does work, that it enhances self-awareness. We're getting five stars from all the companies that send people through, and they're finding real value in it. So what do we want from you? 
want you to help us to think about how do we penetrate this $170 billion enterprise learning space? How do we reach a bigger audience? That's why I'm here is to get the more of you guys walking around with a koozie that says Leader Surf. And if you didn't get one, we have extras. Please come see me afterwards. So think out of the box, live differently. That's what we're all about. Thank you.